Hey guys, John from SNS Cycle here. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing and showing you how to install the new SNS 55 millimeter performance manifold for your M8 or Milwaukee 8 models. The manifold is CNC machined T6 heat treated cast aluminum that provides a higher flow of air, adding five more horsepower to your stock bike. This manifold will replace the plastic stock manifold that is currently on the Milwaukee 8 motorcycle. It's easy to install and it's perfect for your big bore kits. Let's go ahead and get started with installation now. With the stock throttle body and manifold removed from the bike per the factory manual, we're going to go ahead and remove the manifold flanges and seals, the fuel rail and injectors, and the map sensor. First, manifold seals. They just slip right off and we're going to lay them off to the side. Next, the fuel rail and injector. Using a Torque 30, we will remove the two bolts that are holding in the fuel rail. And we will remove the fuel rail and injectors all at once. You may have to pull and wiggle just a little bit to get the grommets to loosen up on the injectors. We're gonna go ahead and set this off to the side, just like so. Now, we're gonna remove the map sensor using a Torque 25. We'll remove the bolt that holds in the map sensor. And wiggle it out just like we did the injectors and set it off to the side. Before we install the new SNS manifold, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the head area where the manifold actually sits on and the flange and seals connect to to make sure it has a good seal. Now that we've cleaned the surface area of the heads, we're ready to install the new SNS manifold. We're gonna be using the stock flanges and seals. And one thing to note is we left the rear Allen bolts on the heads in the back for these slots right here to slide into. We're just gonna go ahead and install the new flanges with the seals on to the SNS manifold. As you can see, the bevel side is facing the engine and the flat side of the actual flange itself is facing the manifold. Making sure that the slots are in the rear. After we do that, we're gonna go ahead and slide the manifold into its position. If the flanges do not line up, you can move them Before putting in the front bolts, we'll double check in the back, making sure that the rear bolts are in their slots. And yes, they are. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and install the front bolts of the manifold loosely into the flange and into the head. Now that we've installed the SNS manifold loosely onto the bike, we're gonna go ahead and install the fuel rail system with the injectors. We're gonna slide it through the rear of the manifold and push in the injectors. Now these injectors have grommets on them, so you may need to wiggle just a little bit to make sure they seed correctly. With the fuel rail and injectors installed, we're gonna go ahead and lock it in using the stock bolts and a torque 30. Using a torque 30 Allen key, we're gonna go ahead and tighten these in. Just good and tight. This is electronics. We don't need to torque everything down and break everything. It's nice and snug. The next step is we're going to install the factory map sensor right into this location right here where this is threaded, this is not threaded. As you can see, the sensor is right here, which would go in the bigger hole and you have a smaller hole for the threaded area, which will uh, lock into place with a Torque 25. Same as before, it has a little bit of a grommet, so you'll have to wiggle it and push it in, line up the hole, and use the factory bolt that you pulled out. Feed it in by hand and good and tight with a Torque 25. For our next step in the installation, we're gonna install the O-ring that is included within the kit when purchasing the SNS performance manifold. To do so, we're just gonna insert it within the groove and make sure it's all the way around connecting and seated correctly. Next, we're gonna reinstall the stock throttle body using the stock bolts. Before putting the backing plate back on, this is a good opportunity to clean the inside of the throttle body and the butterfly itself. Any type of gunk or residue that is excess, take the opportunity to clean it off. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the backing plate of our air cleaner system on to the motor itself and the throttle body. What this does is helps place the throttle body and manifold into its secure place. Now that we've mounted the backing plate, we are ready to lock in the manifold bolts into the heads. We're gonna go back through and tighten them all up. Now that we've tightened everything down, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall all of our plugs into our sensors and our injectors.
Now that we've completed the installation of the new SNS performance manifold, we're going to go ahead and put the tank back on, the bags, and the seat per the factory manual. And there you have it. That's how you install the SNS 55 millimeter performance manifold for your Milwaukee 8 models. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a like, always follow us on our social media channels, and for more information about our product, check sscycle.com.